Hi guys, uh, for those of you who don't already know me, I'm James, the General Manager of Teaching Operations here at First Future, uh, but tonight I'm going to be putting on my training cap and giving you a little tips and tricks video for those of you who are taking the 1VN classes or the large group classes right now who maybe haven't had that much of a chance to practice with the VC or didn't get the training or didn't you know, just haven't had that much experience, basically. Um, obviously, because we've moved all of these classes uh, that were once upon a time in a classroom are now being done in the 1VN um, because of the coronavirus. So we really appreciate all of you stepping up and taking on this extra challenge. It's made a huge difference to the company. Um, but we do also realize that we kind of didn't give you a lot of preparation. So the purpose of this video is to just cover some very basic things, uh, in particular relating to sound quality. So when we're talking about group classes, in a lot of ways, they're very different from the one-on-one -on -one classes. Obviously, the main differences would be the, the amount of interaction that you do with the student and the amount of involvement of each of the students. And in fact, we kind of look at the group classes as much more of a performance uh, than uh, a kind of class with, with a lot of tutoring like we might see in the 1v1s. But in some ways, the requirements are very standard. You have to have nice framing, a good backdrop, mine could be better, but there you go, um, and good sound quality. These things are critical for any kind of high quality class. And at the moment, we're getting quite a lot of complaints relating to the sound quality, or what we would maybe call background noise. And one of our feelings at the moment is that probably this isn't all because of the teachers, because up until now, we really haven't had that many complaints. So we're feeling that it's largely related to the students and the students' microphones creating background noise in class. So I want to show you that now, and I want to give you some tips and tricks on how you can fix that. And to do that, I have some of the members of our QA and uh, supervisor support team here to help me. So the very first thing that we always say is no more than six students on stage at any one time. So what does that mean? Well, it means when you go to the student list, you're actually trying to just select six students using this function to put them on stage. And as soon as we put them on stage, we can right away hear that the sound quality of this class has changed. Okay, getting a little bit of echo, some kind of breathing noises. One of these ladies is a mouth breather. Okay, and we're going to have all kinds of other, you know, static. Yes, I know you are. Uh, and maybe rustling noises and banging noises. Obviously, it's because they all have microphones on. And at this point in the class, none of these students need to have a microphone on. So the very first thing I'm going to show you is how you can do a quick hard reset and turn all microphones off with the global control. All you do is click here all microphones off and instantly you can see it's better. We'll just listen to that again. I can turn them on here as well. Okay, so you see that static, a little bit of music there and not terrible. This probably wouldn't get a complaint, but it can be much worse. Of course, if we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten people, it gets out of control very quickly. So general rule of thumb, no one should have their microphone on except the teacher unless they are the one who you're asking a question to. So if we take an example of that, possibly drag Elijah up here into the corner uh, and say, hi, student, what's your name? Hello, teacher. I'm Elijah. Okay, so you can see as soon as I pulled her in, her microphone was on, but I could turn it on and off as well using the float function here, um, but everyone else is still off, and I can say now uh, Elijah has quite good sound quality here. So maybe I'll take the opportunity to do something with her because the sound is really nice. So hey, how old are you? I'm 12. You're 12. Okay, awesome. You look much older, but thank you very much for your help. Okay, so uh, then put them back using the teacher prio tray. This is the, the view that we want, the priority view for teachers. And now maybe try another one. So let's pull on Sarah here. And uh, as again, you can see as soon as she comes on, her mic's on, uh oh. Um, so not great quality immediately. Okay, so now teacher James, super experienced slash awesome teacher. Immediately, I'm turning that off. Because I don't want to be like, hey, what's your name? Oh, um, can you please turn your microphone down? Uh, can, you, can you ask your granny to stop screaming in the background or whatever, right? Don't want to have that conversation. Not my problem, okay? Just like you are responsible for getting a good working environment and checking your equipment, 
the students are also responsible for that. So unfortunately, this student's not going to get a chance to talk because their sound quality is not good. So I'm able to say, sorry, try to fix your headset, okay? But let's move on because there's 60 kids paying for this class. They don't care about that student's microphone problem. No one wants to deal with it. So we try another one. Hello, what's your name? Andy. Andy, nice to meet you, Andy. Hey, Andy, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Yellow, okay, good, thanks a lot. So in Andy's case, the sound not too bad, but maybe a little bit of rustling or something like that. So I might not go back to Andy. And in fact, in the case of Sarah, uh, or Tina, as she's called here, I'm actually going to take her off stage right away. Her microphone didn't work, her sound quality was terrible, she's gone. And if I had enough students in this class, I might even take Amy here uh, off stage as well, because we don't want to deal with it. But I'm going to keep maybe a couple of the ones with good ones here just in case later in the class uh, I want to ask and get a student involvement, but I, I want to keep things moving and I want high quality. Okay, so just remember you've got all these tools. You can put people on stage, off stage. You can check who's on and who's off, but as a general rule of thumb, I made one mistake myself here, right? I kept these two on. Even if the sound quality is good, try to be disciplined about constantly checking and keeping them off. And remember, the number one tool you've got is right here in the global controls. I can turn all microphones off. So if we're kind of losing control a little bit, uh, or if we're kind of maybe forgot, you know, it's, it's difficult, we get it. You're moving, you're flowing, you're trying to keep things going. There's a lot going on here, particularly if you haven't had a long time to practice. Just remember, you can always do a hard reset. And one last tip and trick using the global control is if I want to do a drill now maybe, and I want to get everyone to repeat after me, and I want to show that there's a little bit of involvement. It is important, even in group classes. I can just go ahead and turn all the people on stage on and say, okay guys, everyone repeat after me, fly up. Fly, fly up. up. Yes, okay, one more time, fly up. Bye. Bye. Okay, good. And you'll notice that was pretty terrible, right? You got a bunch of little kids, blah, blah, blah. Okay, do it quickly. When you've got the all microphones on and you're doing the drills, you maybe notice my voice went up a bit to kind of cover some of the bad sound. Hey, fly up, fly up, fly up, fly up, and then all mics off. And then if I want to do a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm prioritizing people with good sound quality. If someone's sound quality is bad, we might try and get through it if it's not too bad. But if it is difficult for you as a professional teacher who's a native speaker of the language, our other students aren't getting anything out of those interactions because it's just too bad. So most of the time you can't just pull them off. Sorry, your sound is not good. Try to fix it. Next one. And you don't even need to always say that. If someone's headset doesn't work, it's not your job to try and fix it during class. Pull them off, take them off stage, and pick someone else. Okay? So just a couple of simple tips and tricks, very implementable. Um, stay calm. Try not to get overwhelmed. Remember, you can always hard reset, and you've always got your list here to see who's on stage, who's off stage, and put them on and off. Obviously gets more difficult the more students you have, but remember there's a lot of times in the class where you can kind of take a break. So for example, I could be pulling Elijah on here and saying, oh, say, uh, so uh, Elijah, can you please give me a brief introduction to yourself? My name is Elijah. I'm 12 years old. I like swimming. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot. So you'll see while Elijah was talking there, I was in the background doing my own kind of things as the teacher, just trying to line everything up, move people on and off stage and, and make sure that my mics are all good and just a little bit of discipline. Now Elijah's off as well. Okay, so I hope that helped. If you have any concerns, if you're still worried about this, my best advice is just try and stay calm and basically keep everyone's microphones off all the time. Um, but you can always send us a message, reach out to our team, and we'll be happy to give you a, a more uh, focused one-on-one -on -one training session. But I hope that for most of you, this has been a helpful video. So thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for, for taking on these classes and taking on this challenge. It's been a really trying time for the company, but I'm very, very proud of how we've all handled 
handled this and it's put a bit of pressure on you but it's also an opportunity to try out something new and, and hopefully get more classes because really the, the number of classes is just exploding right now it's it's awesome um, and I, I get that it's challenging but those are the good challenges um, and never forget that we're always here to help you guys and support you guys as much as you can so thanks a lot thanks for your energy thanks for your passion thanks for watching uh, and just remember that if the sound is bad for you it's worse for everyone else so you've got to make it a priority to make sure that it's good quality thanks a lot really appreciate everyone's time and thank you to uh, our helpful assistants here uh, you guys are great bye now